Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. For about the last year and a half, I have been using a backpack that I purchased on AliExpress. It is from 3FUL. This is by far the number one requested item for me to review here on the channel. And finally today, we're gonna do it. Been using it for like the last year and a half. I think I've taken five trips with it and I finally feel comfortable giving you a full review. Stay tuned and we're gonna check out the 3FUL backpack. Thanks for watching. Now from what I gather, AliExpress or AliExpress.com is kind of the Chinese version of Amazon. They offer all kinds of products, including camping products, stuff like that. You may have heard the term AliExpress backpack and pretty much this is the one that they were talking about. This is one of the originals. There's a lot of new products out there, including from 3FUL using a new fabric called X-Pack, that's X-P-A-C. Uh, basically it's waterproof material, so it allows you to have a waterproof backpack without having to have a cover. This one in itself is fairly waterproof. We'll talk about that here in a little while. But why is this backpack so popular and why do people want me to review it? Well, two simple reasons. It's light and it's cheap. It weighs in at 31 ounces, which can be a little misleading. We'll talk about why that is, but it still is very lightweight. But amazingly, it costs $57 free shipping straight from China. Now, you need to be willing to wait. You need to have 21 to 25 days for shipping. It is free shipping, but it comes from China. If you're willing to wait, hard to beat for 57 bucks. So I was a little bit sketchy. This is the first thing that I ordered from AliExpress. You kind of send your money in. They say it's gonna come in 21, 25 days. I wanna say it came in in 23 days. So right in the middle, came packaged pretty normally. Very pleased with what I got from AliExpress. Very pleased with the transaction. So let's talk a little bit about specs before I show you the actual backpack. What you want to search for is 3FUL 40 plus 16 liter rucksack. It's a base 40 liter with the ability to make it up to 56 liters and it really does hold that much. That's what you want to search for. Like I said, there's lots of different models and stuff like that, but the one that's $57 is the one that I'm reviewing today. It comes in three colors. I got mine in orange. Like I said, there are newer versions that are more expensive that are made out of this X-Pack material. This one is made out of a little bit different material. This is a 210D nylon. It is very sturdy, very strong, not a lightweight nylon at all. They certainly could have gone lighter weight and made the entire backpack lighter weight, but it wouldn't have held up the way that it has. I'm very pleased with the quality and the nylon is very thick. The dimensions are basically 31 and a half by 12 by eight and a half. And like I said, it weighs 31 ounces. That's without the frame. You have to have a separate frame, which basically is made from a uh, sleeping pad. All the zippers are YKK, very good quality. And like I said, it is marketed as waterproof. I have not been in, in a significant rainstorm, so I can't speak to that. I do carry a separate rain cover just in case because I'm not sure if it's going to be completely waterproof. I think it's pretty water resistant because of the, the quality of the nylon but I'm not sure if it's completely waterproof. If I'm in a deluge or something like that, I want to cover. Now let's zoom in here and let's take a good look at this product. I will mention to you guys, and I'll mention it a little bit later. I have several videos where I go through the pack itself. You'll see it loaded out. You'll see me carrying it, stuff like that. I'm not going to do that on this video. You can go back and look at some of my trip videos and my gear loadout videos. In particular, I went to Caney Creek. Check out the Caney Creek Wilderness Overnight as well as my recent Backbone Trail Overnight. Both those use this particular backpack and each of them have their own separate gear video. You can see me packing up this pack. Check those out. So are you one of those that have been wanting this review for a long time, or have you been searching for a review on this particular backpack and you just found it? Do me a favor, smash that little thumbs up button right now. Helps spread things across YouTube. More people can see this particular video. And at the end of the video, if you like it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Really helps the channel out. Thanks guys. So here is the exterior of the pack, okay? It's got this front mesh pocket we'll look at. First, I'll show you the back. This is where you put that sleeping pad, okay? This is basically the frame of your backpack. You can use it without this, but I do think it is much, much more comfortable like this. As you can see, I basically just used two layers, okay? I could have put up to four layers, but I actually sacrificed this pad, cut it in half. I use the other side that I have just as a sit pad when I take it around but this allows me a good compromise between plenty of padding and not as much extra weight. You could put the whole thing here and use this as a sleeping pad, but of course I use an inflatable sleeping pad, so I just have this on here as my actual frame. You wanna save some weight without question, just sleep on the Thermarest pad here and you won't have to carry two sleeping pads. You can see that this is very well tied in here, very nice quality, okay? While we're back here, you can see there's a significant amount of padding here, okay? You can see it's probably 
about a three quarters of an inch padding. It does have a piece of plastic here to give it inside, okay, a piece of plastic inside to give it support. Some people open this up and take it out to save weight. I think it's very comfortable but you can see very well padded, very comfortable. The shoulder straps again are well padded as well. They're not a tremendous amount of padding, but they are plenty and very springy. They also come up with a couple of very nice features. They have two cross straps here that you can hang stuff from. It also comes with this uh, little bungee right here and this little bungee over here. I have, the only thing that I have added that is added weight is this Z-Packs water bottle clip. I basically put my water bottle here and then I already have this um, strap to strap the bottom. I'm actually going to do a separate video just on that because this is by far the best way to carry water. But these straps are great. They have full adjustability. These little cross straps here to be able to tie things on and then you have things back here. You can just attach whatever you want to the side of this works really really well. Also has as you can see a sternum strap which is very comfortable. Like I said the material itself is very thick. It feels very good. Okay it's certainly the stitching seems excellent. I see no problems with stitching or with what I think is quality control issues. It has holders for trekking poles. Okay, you can put the trekking poles through the top holders up here and then pop them in down the bottom. So you can do that if you want. I really don't carry trekking poles, but it is there. This top mesh compartment, like I said, is super handy. It's quite large, okay? I put all the things that I want easy access to out here, uh, gloves, hat if it's cold. I'll put my food and my cook kit outside if I know that I'm gonna be stopping and eating before setting up camp, etc. Absolutely love this mesh compartment and you can strap it down very well with these lashings on top. These lashings themselves, once this is full, you can put things underneath the lashings. If you've got a piece of wet clothing or whatever, you can just stuff it in here. Lots of options for storage on the outside of this pack. These side pockets are awesome, guys. They are huge. I just wanna show you guys real quick how big they are. Pathfinder, full-size stainless steel canteen. Fits in there, huge, okay? It's very, very big. 12 centimeter billy pot. You really wanna take it with you, that's fine. Just slide it right here. That's about how big it gets, guys. It slides all the way in there. So last I'll show you, this is my tent. This is my 3FUL Lanshan tent. This will actually slide right in there, okay? It's got a little strap, you can compress it, but you can carry your tent on the side here. Really, really versatile side pockets. The important thing too is, a lot of these bags, when you fill the inside up, the pockets become basically useless. These do not, they maintain their shape, so you're able to fill the bag completely and still use these outside pockets. Main compartment is super expandable. You can see on the sides here, okay, there's two ways to close this top. It's a roll top, okay? You can see basically you unroll it and you can go right in there, okay? You can see the expandability. That's why it says it's 40 plus 16. If you have it kind of crunched down like this, it's probably near 40, okay? But if you open this up and you fill it to the top, it is large. This is probably four feet from the top to the bottom of the bag. To close it, of course, you just wrap this. Okay, there's two ways to close it. You can either put it on itself like this, okay, and you close it up top, or it has these integrated side straps where you, like I had it, and you can just attach it to the side, and that allows it to be nice and compact. I have found that this works extremely well. I can put the majority of my gear in the bottom down here, okay? And then at the top, I can just kind of throw in bonus items, shirts, whatever it might be. And it may be very tall and way above my back, but I'm able to really carry a lot of stuff. This closure is super, super nice. I, I really think that it works great. You can not carry as much stuff and compress this down so that it's not big and bulky. You know, if you have something like a full size compartment that you really can't shrink down, and it's not completely full, then you've got this huge area at the top of your pack that's just empty, and it allows things to kind of move around a lot. With this, if you have 35 liters or so, you can strap it down, no problem. If you want to use, you know, 40 liters, 50 liters, you just open it up, strap it to the side, and it allows you a lot of flexibility on how much gear you carry. It does have compression straps on both sides to compress down, and that really works well. It's got full adjustability at the top here to make sure that your load rides the way you want it to ride. It has straps up top, and like I said, it has integrated straps up in here to allow you to make changes to the ride height here and up top. One other thing that's very nice, if you can see it, it's got an extra strap that comes across here and you can buckle in. This basically goes over the top, okay, of the top of your pack, so you can put like a sleeping bag or something, or if you want to keep something dry, you can put it at the very top of this, extend it all the way out, and you still have tons and tons of strap here. So this goes, as you can see, way, so I can show you, way out here, you can strap something really large, like a bear canister, for example, would be perfect, to the top of this, and it won't take up room. 
You just get it on there and you strap it down and you've got it on there really, really good. So another, I think, nice component to this pack is this top strap. So that's it, guys. I mean, pretty simple backpack, pretty simple design. It has a lot of really nice features. The side pouches are huge. They don't compress. It has lots of adjustability to make sure that it fits you well. It fits my torso well. I'm 6'1". They do sell newer models where you can get it compressed so that it's a little bit easier to fit if you're a little bit shorter. It does have, I will mention, some uh, pockets here, although you can see that one of these pockets is upside down. This one's actually upside down, the zipper towards the bottom. That must have been an error. I can't imagine that being done on purpose. But anyway, it doesn't cause a lot of issues, but would have been nice for that to be the right side up. So what have been my experience with this pack so far? Like I said, I've taken it on five overnight trips. I've averaged somewhere around 16 to 23, 24 pounds of weight, depending on how much water I was carrying. And I've had no issues carrying that amount of weight. I think it's a perfect pack for that. Honestly, I've never felt uncomfortable wearing it. The pack itself, I was able to get it dialed in for me pretty quickly and I've had no problems with it. I've actually been surprised, and I said that in my last trip video, I pick up the pack when I start my trip and it feels heavy. Once I get it on my back, put the weight on my hips and I just strap everything down, I really don't feel it. It's a great pack, rides very, very well. Right up there, you can see my Osprey Kestrel 48. Rides well, but honestly, this pack is more comfortable and the cost difference is substantial. Honestly, the quality seems very, very good to me. Like I said, the stitching is tremendous. I look through everything really, really closely. I don't see anything that I'm concerned about. I can't see anything breaking unless I abuse it. A lot of people really abuse their gear, and if you abuse excellent, high quality, top price gear, you're gonna ruin it. So if you're just careful with it, it should last a long time. I like the design of the roll top on the top. It really gives you, like I said, flexibility on how much gear you can put in there. Plus, with that extra strap on top, you can load this puppy down, put a bear canister on top. It's gonna be really tall, and it's, <laughs> you're gonna have to watch what you go underneath but you're gonna carry things very well and very conveniently. Like I said, the outside mesh pocket is awesome. I'm able to use it for all my convenience stuff, uh, extra snacks, gloves, hat, things like that, that I may take on and off, or even an extra layer I can put on the outside. Works great every time. Like I said, call me soft, but I like a nice, squishy, comfortable air mattress. So I use a Thermarest Neo Air x Lite. Works really, really well. I simply use the Thermarest z Light sole for the uh, frame itself. Now, like I said, a lot of people will use the entire uh, pad for it. I did on my first trip, but I was able to trim off quite a bit of weight by cutting down the actual pad. Like you saw, I just had two layers. The pack itself right now weighs just under 40 ounces without anything in it, uh, which is a big improvement, like I said, from this bad boy over here. Compare this to the Z-Pax Arc Blast, probably a fairly similar pack, I would say. And it weighs twice as much. I mean, you know, the Z-Pax weighs 20 ounces or so, something like that, maybe 19, 20 ounces. I don't remember exactly. I remember thinking it was about half. Uh, this one, without the pad, is 31 ounces, which is pretty good, but it's not very comfortable without the pad. You can do it, but I wouldn't do it. It's not very comfortable. But this one is basically twice the weight, but one-fifth the cost, guys. We're talking 60 bucks. Really hard to believe. As long as you plan ahead and you give yourself the time for shipping, this is a great product. 60 bucks. Pretty good deal. I'm not saying it's better than the Z-Packs at all. In fact, I probably will get a Z-Packs. I would like to get one, and maybe next year I will get one. But not everybody can afford three or $400 for a backpack. And if you want to get into backpacking, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you don't want to go over on weight, this is a great, great solution. I love looking at these products here on the channel because not everybody, like I said, has all this money. And being one of the big three, the backpack is key. The backpack can also often weigh four or five pounds on its own. Like that one. Yeah, I'll probably get a Z-Pax one of these days. I like testing gear out, and I do like having nice gear, so I'll probably get one. But this is a tremendous alternative, and the only reason I would try the Z-Pax is just to try it out. This one is perfectly light, perfectly comfortable, a great solution. So if you have the money for a handmade ultralight backpack, go ahead and purchase it. If you want a pretty lightweight backpack that's more lightweight than most of them out there, with high quality materials, I can't recommend this one enough. One of the things I love here on the channel is getting people into backpacking. And one of the barriers to getting into backpacking is cost. So that's why I like looking at gear like this. This is a fairly inexpensive and pretty ultralight solution from a backpacking standpoint. And that's the kind of stuff that I love reviewing here on the channel. And I think that's pretty much why it's the most requested item for me to review for you guys. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you have any specific questions about the backpack, please shoot me a comment. I'll answer as many as I can. I enjoy doing that. And obviously I've had firsthand experience with this backpack. So if you have questions, let me know.
I've liked this one so much that I certainly see no reason why another one wouldn't perform just as well. I think it would be awesome to get one that is completely waterproof from the X-Pack material. So if any of you guys have used one of the X-Packs or have one, make sure you leave a comment down below. I've searched, I have not seen really any reviews on the X-Pack material, so let me know. So did you like this video? Are you one of those that has been waiting to see a video on this particular backpack and you finally got it? Well, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up down below. It helps to spread things across YouTube. And if you like this video and want to watch more videos like it soon, click the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, guys. And if you're feeling a little extra crazy today and you want to make sure that you know when I post videos, hit the little ding dong bell. You'll be the first to know. As always, guys, I appreciate the support here on the channel. Having lots of fun making videos for y'all and testing out new gear. Got a little box of new goodies today, which I'm pretty excited about. Lots of stove stuff coming up and lots of baking stuff, dry baking, stuff like that. Getting kind of into that. Got some new gear coming in, gonna check it out, so stay tuned for videos on that. As always, guys, I really appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.